In the first month of spring in 2021, I moved inland, traveling 160 kilometers from Trenaries on the Wild Coast to Stutterheim, which is about 85 kilometers from East London. I booked in to stay at the Shire Caravan Park, which is on a farm on the edge of a forest. The Shire is about 8 kilometers from Stutterheim, with half the journey being on tarred but quite potholed roads and the last three or four kilometers being on dirt road. The dirt road is rough, but it's okay for a car and a caravan. There is one stretch where sections of the road have been washed away, and I had to take it quite carefully, but I moved along slowly and got the caravan to the park without any problems. The caravan park has 14 caravan sites, each with electricity and water, with an ablution block in the middle. This is a summer rainfall area, the winters are the dry periods. I arrived here just after winter, right at the beginning of spring, and the grass was quite yellow. After the first spring rains came in that month, the grass in the caravan park changed to a soft green. The area is surrounded by the Amatoli Mountains, which are covered in forests. Due to its good summer rainfall, Stutterheim and the surrounding areas is a flourishing forestry area. The surrounding areas are picturesque, with excellent hiking through the forests and on the forestry roads, and some lovely mountain streams and dams. The Gubu Dam, which is about 20 kilometers from the Shire, supplies drinking water to Stutterheim, and that had plenty of water. It offers great rainbow and brown trout fishing, as well as boating, swimming, hiking, and all the other natural activities in a gorgeous setting. The caravan park is bordered by an exquisite indigenous forest. I parked my caravan right next to the forest and every morning and evening I'd grab an apple or a pear, cross a small dry stream bed and go for a two or three kilometer hike in an effort to lose a few kilograms. The atmosphere on the walks was peaceful and lovely. There's nothing to harm you and the area is safe and relaxing. After a few weeks the first rains came and the stream began to flow with water and I'd hop from rock to rock to get across the stream and into the forest. I spent most of my month and a half stay here on my own and felt very safe. Nothing was stolen and I didn't see any strange characters around. I hooked up to the electric plug for electricity and connected my hose to the water tap and had fresh drinking water piped straight into the caravan. The water in this area tastes very good by the way. There's no swimming pool, but there are two swimming holes, which I think is even better. One is on the one side of the caravan park on the river. It's empty in winter and fills up in spring, and you can sit in the water or paddle around for a lovely cool off under the oak trees in the hot weather. The second pool is at the bottom of the Shire Eco Lodge lawn, and is also filled with natural fresh water from the river. This pool is a bit bigger, and you can do a few lengths if you're so inclined. There's no internet supplied at the campsite. I did get an intermittent signal using my cell phone as a hotspot and could watch a bit of a game before I lost the signal. Halfway through my stay, I installed a signal booster and the results were much better. I'll make a separate video on getting good internet reception when you're caravanning at a later stage. The ablution block has showers with hot water and toilet and basin facilities which are clean and nice. There's a small scullery with two basins to do the dishes and even a clothes washing basin if you're there for a longer stay. There is no washing machine for caravanners use. The daily rate here is 120 Rand per person. There is no monthly rate as the caravan park does not usually have monthly caravanners but you can call the owner and make an arrangement with him if you want to stay for a longer period. I believe the rates will be very reasonable. There are some lovely cabins that are available for rent if you don't have a caravan or a tent. I made an in-depth video on these cabins, which is also on this channel if you'd like to see more of the cabins. There's fantastic bird watching in the area, especially in the forested areas. Nice Naluris, orange thrushes and even Cape parrots which are critically endangered and a multitude of other beautiful birds can be seen here. There are also bushbuck, caracool and other animals in the forest. I never saw them, but you can hear their call occasionally. On one of my walks an otter popped out of the bush onto the road. It looked up and down, saw me and scuttled off in the other direction and shot into the bush. 
Every morning and evening, some mango monkeys would come and eat the young leaves from the huge oak tree behind my caravan, and that was fun to watch. The caravan park is pet friendly for small animals. When I arrived, the days were warm to hot and the nights were cold. I definitely needed an extra blanket at night. Stutterheim is a small town, but there is a pick and pay and a spa for groceries and you'll be able to find most of what you'll need for your stay. The countryside has a very nice feel. The weather is cold in winter and pleasant to hot in the summer with beautiful changes in tree colors and pleasant weather in the spring and autumn. A few hundred years ago, a number of German people settled in this area. They chose the region because it is so similar to the countryside in Germany and named the towns that sprang up after German towns like Stutterheim, Hamburg, Berlin and Frankfurt. I thoroughly enjoyed my stay at the Shire. The area is outstanding in beauty and feel and the owners are warm, friendly people and this reflects in the way that you feel when you stay there. I give the Shire a rating of 8 out of 10. If you stayed in the caravan park at the Shire, give us your rating and once we have 10 or 12 ratings in, we'll be able to work out a good average rating. If you like these videos and would like to see more of them, please consider becoming a channel patron with a small donation for every video that I release. Just click on the patron link in the comments section below the video.